My name is Julian Duman. I'm a PhD student at Ruhr University Bochum. And in this short video abstract, I'm going to talk about you on our work on group action-based key encapsulation and non-interactive key exchange in the quantum random oracle model. And this is a joint work with Dominic Hartmann, Eike Kill, Sabrina Kunzweiler, Jonas Lehmann, and Doreen Riebel. So what is a non-interactive key exchange? We have Alice and Bob, and they have a secret and public keys, and they exchange their public keys. And besides exchanging their public keys, there's no interaction and they can compute a shared key. And the diffie hellman key exchange is G to the AB. And the diffie hellman key exchange is passively secure uh, under, the, under the decisional diffie hellman assumption, which uh, states that G to the A, given G to the A, G to the B, and G to the AB, is uh, computationally indistinguishable from G to the A, G to the B, G to the U, for AB and U uniformly random from set P, where P is the prime order of the group. Now, there's a slight variant of uh, the diffie hellman key exchange called uh, hash diffie hellman and here the shared key G to the AB is additionally hashed using hash function H. Also here we include the public keys. And interestingly, this is actually uh, actively secure under the strong CDH assumption in the random oracle model. And what does a strong CDH assumption state? It states that it's difficult to compute G to the AB given G to the A and G to the B and additional access to an oracle, a decisional uh, oracle, which uh, decides whether G to the one, uh, G1 exponentiated by A equals G2. So in a quantum world, we don't have uh, the Diffie-Hellman key exchange anymore, at least uh, not the classical one, because discrete logarithms are efficiently computable by large quantum computers. And for lattices and codes, it's an open research question to build efficient Nike. But from isogeny-based cryptography like Seaside, we have a candidate for quantum-assistant Nike. And uh, in our work, we take the more abstract view of uh, group actions or the group action framework. And what is a group action? Um, it's a group uh, G and uh, set X together with a map. And uh, the map maps from G and X to X. And we have some additional uh, conditions, uh, which I'm going to talk about more in the full version of the talk. So in our title, we say we studied in the quantum random oracle model. So what's a random quantum random oracle model? Well, if you want to study the quantum assistance of schemes and we are in the random oracle model, uh, then we have to assume actually access to, to quantum access to the hash function because a quantum computer can compute the hash function uh, locally and then uh, do superposition queries. So this is actually an, then the right model to study quantum assistance of schemes and the, the right extension of the random oracle model. So now let us talk what we do in our work. So we have uh, the group action based uh, hash diffie key exchange here. And what we do is we prove that uh, the active security uh, of the scheme uh, and the QROM using the group action quantum strong CDH assumption. And uh, we show that such an assumption is necessary. And we show how to weaken the assumption by uh, alternative constructions, uh, for example, using training or key confirmation, and we prove also the corresponding camp secure. So this is the uh, uh, last slide of uh, this short video abstract. I look forward to see you at the full version of the talk.